What happens when you bring together in a duel a formidable hornet with a dangerous mantis? Is a wasp capable of defeating an ant? And how far are insects willing to go to defeat an opponent? All answers and interesting details are in this episode. Today I'll show you the most unusual and incredible fights between insects, which will give you goosebumps. It's worth seeing. Let's go. Bullet Ant and Cricket The bullet ant got its sonorous name for a reason. No, it doesn't look like a bullet in appearance, and it's not as fast as a bullet, but it stings like a bullet. The sting pain of the ant exceeds that of any wasp or bee. According to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, the sting of the bullet ant corresponds to the highest level. People who have been bitten by this ant have said that it really does oh feel like a gunshot wound. If the bullet ant has this effect on people, then what about the cricket? In this footage, we see the cricket and the bullet ant brought together in a duel in a confined space. The fight begins immediately. The rivals step on each other, the ant takes a comfortable position and tries to sting the cricket. It seems to have succeeded. The cricket starts twitching in pain, but it's not about to give up. Soon it recovers and continues the fight. At this time, another ant is placed in the mini enclosure, but it doesn't take part in the fight. Unfortunately, the cricket didn't stand a chance. After fighting for some more time, it loses its strength and dies. Numerous bites of the bullet ant couldn't pass without a trace. But the cricket should be given its due. Not everyone can fight so decently and bravely with an insect that stings like a real bullet. Millipede versus Spider Scientifically speaking, millipedes are not insects, they're arthropods. But traditionally, millipedes have been seen as insects or as the closest relatives of insects, so it's worth including a battle involving a millipede in this episode, especially since it's pretty good. In one corner of the ring is an Amazonian giant centipede, a large millipede that can reach several tens of centimeters in length. In the other corner of the ring is a dangerous, venomous spider, but the Amazonian giant centipede is not so simple. Each of its 20 body segments has a pair of paws with modified claws. Moreover, the claws of one front pair of paws of the Amazonian giant centipede are connected to venomous glands. No wonder why this many-legged creature goes after a spider so confidently. It doesn't seem to want to fight and has taken a defensive posture huddled in a corner. But there's no choice, it has to fight back. The spider runs across the small enclosure while the Amazonian giant centipede tries to catch it. But it doesn't succeed. It doesn't manage to penetrate the arthropod's chitin. Soon everything changes. Waiting for the right moment, the spider catches up with the Amazonian giant centipede and it finds itself in an uncomfortable position. It's not known how it ended, but it is possible that the spider won the fight after all. Ant versus Wasp Sometimes in the insect world, skirmishes between different individuals happen for no reason, but often food is the cause. As in the world of large animals, in the world of insects, there is a competition for who will be the first to receive prey or a treat. For example, in this case, an ant and a wasp fight against each other. It would seem that the wasp has a serious advantage in this battle and it should win because it has a stinger connected with a venomous gland. If the wasp stings, the ant is instantly killed. Yeah, but it's not that simple. An ant isn't easily stung because it's small, which means that it would be problematic to hit it with a pinpoint sting. The ant, by the way, doesn't just defend itself. In turn, it also bites the wasp and sprays it with acid. This brings the results. Periodically, the wasp has to leave the battlefield to recover, and the ant takes advantage of this, taking a dainty. Although all the participants in the battle survived, the ant can be recognized as the winner. The wasp couldn't oppose it. But will a wasp be able to demonstrate all its fighting skills in battle with other insects? For example, in battles with its relatives, the bees. Stay tuned to find out and to see other epic and incredible insect battles that are sure to impress you. Let's move on. Bee versus Wasp The queen bee is essentially the main bee in the hive. It's a breeding female bee, a female bee with well-developed sexual organs. That's why it's greatly valued and protected by the other bees. However, this does not continue indefinitely. Gradually, the bees in the hive breed a new queen bee, and the old one is killed or expelled from the hive. In this footage, we see an expelled by its congeners queen bee, which comes to a flower. Looking closer, we can see that its wings are damaged. 
Apparently, the expulsion was harsh. As if that wasn't enough, there was also a wasp flying near the flower that decided to have a showdown. The wasp attacks the bee, trying to chase it away and even pokes it several times, trying to get it off the flower. But the queen bee doesn't care. Even though the queen bee is in an uncomfortable position, it continues to stay on the flower without paying much attention to the wasp. Soon, the wasp stops trying to attack. The wasp can be considered the winner, but no one knows what would have happened if the queen bee had been in the right shape. And what happens if the battle is not between a queen bee and a wasp, but between an ordinary bee and a wasp? There are such battles too, and one of them looks particularly epic. In this footage, we see striped insects clashing in battle. Unlike the previous video, here the battle looks just like a battle. No showdown with pushing down from the flower, just a fight for life. The wasp immediately took the dominant position and began to deal with the bee. It decided to do it in a brutal way. The wasp got behind and on top of the bee and started squeezing it. The bee in turn tried to get free and began to move forward as hard as it could. Not a bad option, but this soon resulted in the bee simply splitting in two. But it's not even that surprising. After the wasp won, it went up into the sky with half the bee, while the other half of the bee continued to roam below. No one knows how long it then lasted, but the fact that it was able to survive such a separation is awesome. Grasshopper versus Mantis The grasshopper looks quite harmless insect, while the mantis is considered a rather formidable creature, because mantises, as we know, are predators. However, grasshoppers are not that simple. Contrary to popular belief, the vast majority of grasshoppers are omnivorous with a predatory tendency. In many ways, grasshoppers are similar to praying mantises. They're hunters which grasp their prey with their serrated front legs. So what happens when you bring them together in a duel? In this footage, we can see the battle between the grasshopper and the mantis. Surprisingly, the grasshopper gives the mantis a decent fight, so much so that the mantis even has to retreat. The mantis must have remembered the incident and come back for revenge. Mantis and Hornet Okay, we can put this incident down to the fact the mantis just had a bad day. Maybe it'd do better in a battle with a more serious opponent than the grasshopper. The Hornet's a good candidate for this job because this striped monster has a terrifying sting and is a hard challenge. Here's footage of just such a battle. Even though the Hornet is inferior to the mantis in size, it quickly dominates from above. The striped creature holds the large mantis down by pushing it down with its paws. Periodically, the hornet jerks its stinger. It's possible that several times it managed to sting the mantis, but in this case, the stinger definitely did not go deep. But it doesn't matter. After a while, the mantis is exhausted. The hornet triumphs and does what female mantises do to male mantises. It bites the poor guy's head off. Well, apparently mantises aren't as tough as people think. Mantis versus Mole Cricket or are they tough insects after all? Let's give the mantis one last chance to improve. This time the battle takes place in a small container and the rival of the green predator is a mole cricket. The mole cricket's been put in the container with the mantis. It's not yet aware of the danger, but the predator has already noticed it long ago. The mantis is ready to lunge at the necessary moment. The mole cricket, on the other hand, seems relaxed and distracted. It gets too close to the mantis and the mantis immediately grabs it. Nevertheless, the mole cricket quickly breaks free, staining its opponent with liquid, which is what these insects do for self-defense. The mantis has to take a break to clean itself and prepare for a new attack. It clearly didn't want to fight with mud on its paw. Now the mole cricket's in a bad position. The trapped insect could not restain the predator with the liquid, and the mantis was angry and determined. All this led to the fact that the mantis grabbed the mole cricket and didn't let it go. After struggling for some time, the mole cricket was exhausted and soon fell prey to the mantis. The green fighter had finally won. That's all, guys. Which insect fight impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.